Hey, I'm here with Sergio from Lost Surfer Smokers, or as they like to say, Lost Fucking Surfer Smokers in Colombia. Uh, I might say this might be the first or second band I'm interviewing from Colombia. So welcome. Thank you very much, Ryan. Hi. Yes, that's right. Welcome. We are we are really happy to be here, you know. So so tell me a little bit about what you do um in uh Lost fucking surfer so <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, uh, I mainly play guitar, you know, um, uh, in the band. Of course, it's like we are a power trio mostly, you know, like the idea comes just as a, a trio. And and yeah, I'm behind the like the graphic aspect of the band, too, as I'm a graphic designer, too. So, yeah, I'm trying to just fuse both things you know it's like as my love for surf music and the visual aspect of it because it's like it's really special oh excellent excellent uh, uh show the people uh on the show that the shirt you designed a t-shirt that this design was done like probably maybe three years ago it's like you know you have the the initials of the band and it's quite simple but it's just to you know keep the brand going and just make yeah. it really yeah special that's one thing Awesome, awesome. So, what is uh, what's it like to be a surf fan in Colombia? I know South America, for one, is full of lots of great surf uh, mu musicians. Uh, what's it like for you in Colombia uh, playing surf music? Well, it's been kind of a surprise because it's like, well, there's not that much like bands of surf around Colombia, you know. Like we thought that it was forming the band, you start seeing that there's kind of, there's no, no such a big community behind it. But there's been, of course, like uh, special bands from, from this country. Like um, there's one called uh, Los Plankton, which is like one of, one of the most well-known bands here. There's another one called Surfidrico. But I think that there's probably five or, 10 active bands of surf in Colombia in the entire country, which is not that much, you know? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and Colombia is huge. It is huge, you know? <laughs> and of course, like, we have, like, mo almost 50 million, like, habitants, you know, like, people living. And But you have this mass, like, diversity of music and sounds, you know? So, yeah, you can find any type of music yeah. going on, you know? But surf is kind of a little thing but i think it's you know it's getting stronger and people are just trying to create more and more sounds with surf awesome awesome what are some of the uh for the viewers uh i want them to know that there's going to be a link in the description to go to your not only your instagram page but your van camp page where they can sample your music for but for people who who haven't heard you describe your music to them well okay i think that the spoken surfers, smokers try to keep like the main influence of the original surf sound. You know, it's like when we formed the band, we, you know, we played a lot of tunes from the original surfaris, of course, the Dale, the Ventures, the Shadows, you know. Then we mixed it with a bit of rock and roll, like Swing, Rockabilly, Lonely Mac, uh, you know, uh, Johnny Cash. And, and then the modern surf sound like Mr. Chops, um, Satan's Pilgrims, you know, like straight jackets. Like we tried to put everything in a blender and then uh, more recently, like the, or let's say local influence, like la Latin sounds like the cumbia, especially speaking. So we're yeah. trying to, because yeah, we are trying to mix it with this like Latin flavor and actually it's doing quite well. The, the last single that we released in August of last year is called Cumbia Surfing. And then you can kind of see, you know, like this blend of Latin and South American um, influence with the original like surf sound that we, we love, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So awesome. yes, it's, uh-huh. Uh, but you also, you did a, uh, a cover of an Atlantic's tune, right? Oh yes, that's the Reef Break song. We love that song. It's like we love that band. You know, the Atlantics are yeah. such a legendary band, and you know, in our discography, you can check that we have like plenty of live music, and like doing this tribute to this great 
like bands, of course. It's like, of course, the Atlantics. Um, we have a cover for from Lonely Mac too, which is more rock and roll. Um, and yeah, we we just love this type of music. The punk music is an influence too for us. It's like yeah. trying to put everything in going on. It's like that's our our purpose now. Uh, a a friend of mine uh, um, had talked about people our age, you know, 50-ish, who had grown up as hardcore kids or punk rock kids. And when they get older, they find surf music, like, you know, in their retirement age. <laughs> and uh, so a lot of us our age, you know, come to, you know, have always liked surf music, but it's something that we can relate to listening to punk and thrash metal growing up. Um, well, especially, you know, with the, the rhythms and the strumming. Um, but you mentioned Cumbia. Um, tell me a little bit more about how that influences your culture in music. Well, mainly about like the Cumbia things, like uh, a groove that actually started here in, in Colombia by the north of the country. And this rhythm kind of uh, spread all over the continent, you know, towards like the entire South America, even to Mexico. So it's really special to see this rhythm, like having its own voice in each country that it reaches, you know. So we have, of course, like the, the main rhythms because it's like, you know, percussion, especially. Then you go to Peru and the influence with the electric guitar turns into this psychedelic cumbia you go like more south to argentina and they put it like uh, you know like the keyboards and they have their own flavor so this is you know this is really special and like yes like getting to cumbia is like probably you start listening here to punk too and rock and roll and heavy stuff and then of course you get a bit older and then you start you know exploring like the local sounds and what yeah. What can yeah? What can be a bit more special in surf and cumbia for love for us? Is that yeah. thing is happening too? Yeah. <laughs> so as far as far as like rhythm and dance, you know, like jazz and big band was uh, an American thing. Would you would you say cumbia is that in South America? I think so. I think there's that's like the group that kind of you know highlights one of the aspects of South American music, but yes. And you know, by now it's like, everything's mixing together, you know? We are, we are living yeah. in this moment where all these different uh, grooves and cultural influences are just, you know, yeah. mixing and it's great, you know? I think it's great and especially for surf, you know? Because like, you can keep like that original sound and, yeah. but try to explore and going somewhere else is, yeah, why yeah. not, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. One of the things I love about surf is you can, like you said, you can blend many different genres and cultural influences without vocals getting in the way. And that gives it a, a, like a, a wider playing field, right? Exactly. Yeah, so, it is. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, work. Please. <laughs> so this is going to air around October. Tell me what you guys are going to be doing in October with uh, Lost Fucking Surfer Smokers. Well, in October, I think that by that point, we'll be ending a um, UK tour that we are now organizing. You know, uh, last year we were, we were playing there. We played in Belgium and Spain. And now we are having like an invitation to play in a couple of big festivals around the UK. There's one called the Shambhala Festival where we met these guys from Los Dedos. These guys are from Bristol. So, you know, we became friends and, and yeah, now we have like plenty of people waiting for us there. So by the end of October, we're going to be probably ending that leg of that tour. And we're trying to organize some dates in Germany, again, Belgium, and Spain, you know, so. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Mm. I just spoke with somebody from Belgium. Uh, there is a great scene in Belgium, lots of good bands. Well, yes, Belgium is like, this place is like, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening, not, not just musically. So it's like, yeah. it's great to, to be in this place where you can just meet all these different types of people, you know, like, 
and showing showing them this type of, of music and people are really receptive so yeah it's really nice to be back in belgium we hope to just be there probably yeah between october and, and november so that's the plan awesome awesome uh, yeah. uh is there anything you'd like to talk about or mention before i before we sign off something maybe i didn't mention to you um, no i think everything is great man uh we just want to, you know, uh, prepare this tour properly. We want to record some tunes to maybe take out a, a proper EP with a, some vinyl reproduction there. And yeah, we hope to uh, next year, if there's a chance to play in the, you know, in the States, if we can, you know, get there and rock the house with you guys, you know. So yeah, we'll see. Awesome. Well, Sergio, thank you so much for coming on and uh, good luck with your tour. And, uh, you know, always stay in touch. If you can, you need something, just forward me a flyer or whatever, and I'll put it up. All right. Thank you so much, Ryan. Okay, take care. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you.